Okay, so I wanted to talk about torque plates. We've got this cylinder oversized board um, going from a um, 96 inch to a 103, which is the same as if you had an 88 and you're going to a 95 cubic inch. It's basically about 100 thousandths over. So anyway, so we've got it bored over. Um, you know, we talked about in one of the other videos, my opinion on how we, you know, better ways to board out. You know, your lower end, it doesn't make horsepower, it contains it, okay? So we want to have a good sealing uh, setup here. And what I want to talk about is torque plates, because what happens is these bolts that come through this cylinder, they distort it, okay? Um, I think one of the other videos I tried posting a picture, if not, I'll post one of this, one that's all, you know, I've pulled off, you know, just a stock factory job done, or maybe it was somebody else that did it, I don't know. But anyway, they, they distort. It's kind of like they're round like a stop sign. So you want to, what the torque plates do is, and there's a lot of different torque plates, okay? These are actually BHJ torque plates, all right? And they're made out of aluminum. There's a lot of them that are made out of steel, but here's the deal. Your cases are made out of aluminum, okay? And they are, they're actually split, and this actually has a torque rod to it. Your cases are two pieces, so if you look at your cases, your engine cases, they're two pieces. They go together. So when you torque this together, there's, there's, there's this movement in the cases. That's why you go front to front. You don't go crisscross when you torque them. You go back and forth, okay? Because the cases kind of do this number. And so you want to simulate everything that you're doing when you're putting this motor together so that it is true and as round as possible. So you want to get torque plates that actually do that. There's a way, you know, you could, I could advertise that I board and home these with torque plates, but if I use the steel ones, they don't do anything. They don't represent anything other than the value in kind of like me selling you an American-made lifter because it's in, a, it's in an American-made, the box is made in America, the lifter is not. It's kind of along that same line, okay? You want something that is actually going to get this as close as what it's going to be um, when the engine's assembled, okay? And so then the top part, and I actually use a head gasket when I, when I hone these out. I put a head gasket on, all right? And then I put the torque plate on, just the top goes on, okay, and then we put the bolts on, all right? And then I torque these just like I would, um, you know, fix that stud there, it's a little taller, you know, it don't really matter, but anyway, I torque these down um, just like what you would do when you get them home. And then we take these out and then we hone them, okay, so it's as true as round. So, so these are all torqued down, we hone it out. So. Everything's going to seal. You want the roundest cylinder you can. Like I said, the lower end doesn't necessarily make you horsepower in any way, other than you know, cubic inch, you know, is a bigger motor, so it has a potential to make more horsepower. But if it doesn't seal, if your rings aren't sealing, it ain't going to make horsepower. This contains horsepower. Your heads actually make the horsepower. You know, you get your heads ported, they flow more air. That's where all the horsepower is at, is in the heads, all right? But you got to do a good job on these cylinders. I've had guys, um, you know, they, we've, we've ported heads for them, and man, I didn't see a big difference, you know. And, you know, last year they took it, and they had it from a 95 or 88, and they took it to a 95, took it to some shop, or they bought these cylinders online, got a great deal on it, and so they bolted it on, and, you know, then they put the heads on it, and they put the cam, and say, man, I really didn't see that big a difference. Well, that's because they didn't do a leak down test, remember I did talked about in the other video, we do a leak down test on it and find out there's 40% leak down in the cylinders because they're, they're way too big or they're not even round. Okay, so one of the things we do is we use the good BHDA torque plates, okay, and then we take each piston, you know, and I'll take this piston and I'll measure this piston up and then I do it to this cylinder. This piston and this cylinder are gonna stay together. It's gonna get marked and it's gonna go with this one because each cylinder, it's, it's, even though it's two cylinders, it's two one cylinders. So the other piston will go with the other cylinder so that the proper clearance is done with this. That's part of like, you know, people, it's a balance and blueprinted or whatever. Well, the blueprinting is making sure everything is done right. You know, you buy this aftermarket stuff on the on, online and the pistons are made in, you know, that I don't know where, you know, the pistons are made in this state and then the cylinders are made in that state and nobody's ever put a mic. They've got a spec, you know, okay, this can be within this tolerance and this has to be with this, this, this tolerance. But who's to say that those two tolerances are anywhere close? If this is on the big side and this is on the small side, now you got something that's going to wobble around in there. It's not even going to fit right. So, you know, that's some of the custom stuff that you do. You know, stacking all them BBs. I, I talked about in this other video. You stack little BBs on a dresser, eventually you can get a pretty big pile. So you want to stack, you know, when you do things, it's going to live longer. 
It's going to make more horsepower. Um, you're going to take advantage of the money you're spending on your on your bike because you want it to be right and you want it to live a lot longer. So so it's 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 making sure all this stuff is done properly um, and done right. You know, if you buy a kit, man, I make I would make sure you measure it, measure the bore, and if it's if you get it back and you get a dial bore gauge in there and this cylinder is perfectly round with no torque plate on it, I would say it's it, there's something wrong with it. When, you know, you get I pour this cylinder, I get this all finished toned out with these torque plates on. I take this torque plate off, and it, it may be as much as a thousandth difference. Now it's it's going to be wow, this you know this is out of round, it don't fit, won't even fit, but it's or it's really tight. Um, but once you put the torque plate, once you get the head on it, then the cylinder is going to go back to being round again, and then everything's going to seal. So anyway, that's the difference in torque plates. I hope uh, this made sense. Um, and uh, you get something out of it. So anyway, uh, you know, hit the subscribe button if you like this and like the video. I appreciate you guys watching them. And if you got any questions, give me a shout. I'll try and answer them or do a video on it. Uh, God bless you. Have a great day.